Hello and welcome back to this week's JAG TV. I'm Mara Rubio. And I'm Jesse Howe. This past Friday, 35 students got together to raise awareness for teen homelessness in the Kansas City area. One homeless night raised $1,200 to be donated to the Synergy House. Here is our own Jordan Bowen with more on this story. Jordan? Hey guys, it's Friday night. I'm here at the South Cafeteria doing One Homeless Night. Let's go inside and check it out. How did the donations work for One Homeless Night? Uh, some of it went to Synergy House, which is um, an organization that helps homeless teens. One Homeless Night was sponsored by Student Senate, Sophomore Reps, and National Honor Society. How did Homeless Night turn out? Um, it turned out pretty good. We had a lot of kids there, and we had a speaker from Synergy Homeless House come, and she talked about her life and um, how she was homeless and how they really helped her out. I noticed that many of your classmates are actually homeless. They look just like us, they dress just like us, they come to and from just like we do, but a lot of them don't have a day to go home to at night. Thirty-two percent of homeless kids will attempt suicide and half of those will succeed. And then we had a fashion show where we took Goodwill clothes and we put them on and like kind of like America's Next Top Model just like our stuff, I guess, and then um, we took our boxes and decorated them with like markers, like for graffiti because it's like cultural. And we also took newspaper and put it in some of the clothes that we donated, which is like jeans, shoes, and hoodies, and placed them around the school. You probably saw them like around the school, and. Um, then we finished the night off with watching Bonside and sleeping in the area by the PAC. It was pretty fun. One Homeless Night is an event throughout the whole Kansas City area that is sponsored by Synergy House, which is an organization that provides a safe haven for teens who are homeless. What kind of activities are you guys going to be doing? Homeless activities living in boxes, huddling around trash cans with fire in it. It's about it, really. Homeless people don't do much. Maybe play some, some cards and gamble and drink water. That's what homeless people do. So in your opinion, how did it go? Oh, I think the event went very well. Uh, the kids learned a lot, had a great time. Uh, we raised a lot of money for a Synergy House, so I think altogether we uh, gave them about $1,200. Uh, students were asked to bring a donation to begin with, but some of them went out and raised money. So altogether, I think we had $1,200 that we gave to Synergy House. I'm Jordan here at One Homeless Night. We'd just like to take a chance and thank everyone for coming out. Back to you guys. News, news, and more news. Us South students have all the opportunities to know what goes on in our school. Hi, I'm Chris Phillips. I'm sports editor of the newspaper. Um, basically, I write several stories every issue. I design all the sports pages. Um, I assign stories. Pretty basic job. The newspaper students work very hard every month to bring the information on what goes around our school. Basically, what goes into making a newspaper is um, at the beginning of the month, we get story ideas that we all brainstorm together, and then we um, start writing our stories and assign stories to people, and we determine who's going to write what, and then we gather information, and then at the end of the month, we have a full week of deadline. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night. Normally, we're here till like 7 or 8 at night, fixing up the newspaper, and then on Wednesday night, um, we do edited, like we edit everything, we edit all the pages and we take them home and then Thursday we have about the first two hours in the day to really dig deeper into editing and then once we're done we send it off in PDF files to the examiner and they print it off and then Friday then we pick it up, um, he picks it up at the examiner the next morning and we get it out of his car and cut everything and we bundle it all with ads and deliver it to classrooms. It takes hours. There you have it, Jaguars. Don't forget to pick up this month's edition of the Jag. American Enterprise Day took place during first to fourth hour classes last Friday. American Enterprise Day is a competition of all the business students at South just trying to see what they've learned in their class this year and trying to compete like we're really making a business. So that's what we did. 
Five students were allowed per group. The objective of the group was to present their company as the best one. Um, the main thing to prepare, prepare yourself for is to be creative. Get out there, get your product, and be creative. Be like the ShamWow guy, be like Billy Mays. Be really creative and really get your product that you're trying to sell out there. Get people want to buy it. Students dressed professionally and awaited for the final results. It's like a simulation and they give you all the information you need right then and there. So you have to, you have a team and you have to come up with everything you have to do in that, like we, we have a little bit of time to figure it all out. And so that's truly really how you prepare because you, you can't really prepare for it because you don't know what to prepare for. First, second and third place winners received prizes including medals. American Enterprise Day this year was only the second time that we've had American Enterprise Day, that we've held it. It's a, a very local competition just within our district. The first two years we tried it, we tried on a Saturday, and on Saturdays students are very busy, they're not as likely to come. So we had between four and six teams that would compete. This year was the first year we've tried it during school, and we had 13 teams sign up to compete this year. Reporting from the Media Center, Amar Rubio for Jack TV. Now here's Taylor Burton with this week's Jack Sports. Hey Jags, this past weekend Samantha Nightingale competed in the Nike Cross Country Regional Championships. Samantha finished second qualifying herself for the national meet in Oregon December 4th. Congratulations and good luck Samantha. As you know, our two basketball teams will be kicking off the season shortly. Lady Jags will be kicking off the season Tuesday the 23rd, and the guys will be kicking off their season at home in the McDonald's tournament against Lincoln Prep December 7th. Now let's hear what a couple guys had to say about the upcoming season. Uh, we got a lot of guys coming back from last year, got some good experience, and we got a, another tough schedule. And so we're looking for a lot of wins this season, and we got high expectations. Um, our goals this year are to be district champions and go to the state tournament and hopefully make a dent because we have a very good team. Um, we lost in the district championship last year to Lee Summit North and to improve from last year we want to win that game and go further on into the tournament. That's it for this week's Jack Sports. Back to you Mar. Saturday, November the 20th, the wrestling team will be hosting an extreme dodgeball tournament in the Blue Springs South Gym. Registration is at 12.30 or pre-registered during lunch. The cost is $60 and 60 players are allowed per team. Have you seen baby dolls around school with students and you ask yourself why? Well, do not worry. They are not real and they're actually for child development class and they're worth a grade. Here's Joseph Kennedy with more information. Thanks guys. You guys may have seen or maybe heard about the mechanical babies that Child Development has been giving out for an assignment. Just basically get a feel of, you know, what it's like to have a child and like what it's like to be a teen mom, you know, to take to have to take a baby onto the bus and I you know, take it to I even saw one girl take it to a football game. But it's like to get a realistic feel of having what it's like to have a baby. So without having a real baby. I had a chance to talk to Ms. Hall about why she's been giving out this assignment. To give them a little bit of a real life experience, of course these babies it's kind of hard to bond with because they're not, you know, they don't respond back to you. But it does let them know how much care babies take, how much time they take, and that you always have them with you. I also got to talk to a student about the problems she had along the way. Um, well, there was many difficulties. It cried, and you had to burp it, and you had to change its diaper. And but the thing is, it woke up several times during the night. I woke up, and I came to school with like less than about four hours of sleep. And one of the nights that I took it, because you have to take it two days, I um, lost the diaper, and so I was crying for a long time, and I couldn't find it. <laughs> and it was waking everybody up in the house. So that's one of the things I had to do. Oh, yeah, it wasn't fun. <laughs> and there you go. As you can see, having a baby is a really hard task, as these students learned while having this project. Back to you, Jesse. With Thanksgiving just around the corner, here's a holiday special of Man on the Street with Antonique Flemons. Hey, I'm Senior Antonique with Man on the Street this week. Jack TV wants to know what are some of your favorite things about Thanksgiving? Are you recording now? As you know, Thanksgiving is. My favorite thing about Thanksgiving is my mom's food because she's a great cooker and um, 
it's basically the best food around. So, it's my favorite thing. <laughs> Apple pie and ice cream. Get to, you know, spend time with my family and just get to kick it with my friends and have a lot of fun and I eat a lot of food too. You know I like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> we eat a lot of food and that's pretty much it. Go to my grandma's house and have a bunch of fun and then we play football in the backyard. Do family traditions. Do you guys watch the football game? Yeah. Hey, I don't know what's happening. We chill. And eat turkey, even though I don't like turkey. What does chill consist of? A whole bunch of people watching the football game. And eating cookies. Thank you. And what do you cook on Thanksgiving? Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> gobble. Homemade mac and cheese. I'm thankful for my friends, my family, and just being able to live life the way I want to. Well, I'm thankful for Antonique, first of all. But second of all, I'm thankful for my family because, and Emily, because, yeah, she's hot. And uh, my family because they make me happy. And I'm a music teacher in elementary school. Elementary, that's right. Favorite food? Oh, it has to be mashed potatoes. Mix it in, mix it in with the corn. Ooh. Ew. Why? How is that ew? It's not good. Yes, it is. No, it's it's so good. It's giving. Uh, my family is Italian, so we all cook Italian food. And this year, we're having a family football game. So I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> sums up what everybody's favorites are for Thanksgiving. Back to you guys. That is all for this week. Don't forget to check out our website at bssuradio.net. Thank you for watching JAG TV. And have a happy Thanksgiving.